In this video, I'm going to show you the optimal way to set up your Crew AI team. This comes straight from the Crew AI founder, and he has shown me the future of what a Crew AI code base looks like. And we're gonna be building all of this using Lightning AI, which is not only a cloud-based code editor, which allows you to collaborate with anybody on your code in the cloud, but you can also power your open source models with it, which I'll also be showing you how to do. So we're gonna build a Crew AI team, and then we're gonna swap out GPT-4 and we're gonna power it using Mixtral or Mistral, we'll see. And I wanna thank lightning.ai for sponsoring this video. I'm super excited to build this team on Lightning. And I'm gonna publish this Lightning Studio in the description below so you can get access to it, you can clone it, and you can play around with it yourself. The first thing we're gonna be doing is building our Crew AI code framework. And so the first thing we need to do is create a new studio. So if you don't already have a Lightning account, go ahead and sign up. They'll give you some free credits to get started click new studio right there and we're going to create a code studio then we click start and this entire environment is in the cloud so it really saves you a lot of headaches with python environment management because it's essentially a fresh environment every single time and if you've been watching my videos you know how frustrating python environment management is all right so the high level of how we're going to structure our crew is now very modular we're going to have a separate area for tools we're going to be using yaml to define our agents and tasks and everything is going to pipe into a very short main.py file. So I just spun up a new Lightning Studio and that's really all we have to do. We can already get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a source folder. So go ahead, right click, click new folder and then type source. And everything should feel very familiar in Lightning because it is essentially VS Code in the cloud. And the cool thing is you don't actually need to set up your environment. You don't need to struggle with your Python environments, with dealing with all of these dependencies. It just works. So we created our source folder, and then within the source folder, we're going to name our new crew. So we're gonna actually create another folder within that, and I wanna make a financial analyst crew. And so just like that, I name it financial analyst crew, hit enter, then that creates another folder. All right, then within that folder, we're going to create another folder, config. And all of this is just to structure what we need to put everything together. So from here, we're gonna right click, we're gonna create a new folder, we're gonna call it config. And this is where we're going to put our definitions of our tasks and our agents. And as I mentioned, they're both gonna be YAML files, so let's do that now. Right click, we're gonna say new file, and we're gonna call it agents.yaml for the first one. And then we're gonna right click, new file, and we're gonna call it tasks.yaml for the second one. And now this is where we're going to define our agents and tasks. And the nice thing about doing it this way, so if you start getting into the habit of structuring your crews just like this, I believe pretty soon, Crew AI is gonna give you the ability to actually expose an endpoint to control your crews based on this structure. So it'll automatically be able to create you an API. So that's why it's good to follow the golden path here. So let's start writing our tasks. The first task is going to be researching a specific company that I wanna analyze. So I'm gonna call it research company task and then we put a colon after it. And then we need two parameters within that, description and expected output. So within the description, this is where we're going to describe the task at hand. So what we're going to say is use a search tool and we'll come back to this. We'll actually build the search tool to look up this company's stock information. And then I put company name. And the fact that I have curly braces around the company name now makes it a variable, which we're going to pass in later. And this makes it so that we can basically pass in any company name. The goal is to prepare enough information to make an informed analysis of the company's stock performance. The next thing we need is the expected output. And for the expected output, I I say all of the relevant financial, whoop, I spelled financial wrong, financial information about the company's stock performance. Okay, so that's the first task. It's as simple as that. Now I'm gonna make a second task. So I'm just gonna copy that first task, paste it again. And the second task is going to be analyze company task. So I'll delete the descriptions from before and I'll delete the expected output from before as well and we'll put new ones in place. So I switched over to Claude 3 which 
By the way, is my new go-to model. I no longer prefer GPT-4. Claude 3 has just been so good. And I asked what metrics should someone include in a financial analysis? And it gave me a bunch of different metrics. And so I'm simply gonna copy paste these into the description of the task I want. So I say, take company names. And again, I pass in the variable financial information, analyze it and provide a financial analysis, including profitability ratio, liquidity ratio, solvency ratios, and so on. And for the expected output, I am going to say a nicely formatted analysis, including all of the financial metrics necessary for a thorough financial analysis of a company. And so let's stop there. Obviously, I can get much more sophisticated than this, but that's not the point. I just want to get something up and working. And then I want to show you powering it using an open source model and powering that by Lightning AI's GPUs. Okay, so we have two tasks. So research and then analyze. And then we need agents now. So let's click over to the agents.yaml file. So here is the structure of an agent definition. And the name is going to be company researcher. The role, I'm gonna name it financial researcher. The goal, very similar to the task. Now, one quick thing that I just added is I explicitly said using search tools. I don't know if I actually have to do that, but I like explicitly saying it because it doesn't hurt and it makes me feel like, okay, it's actually gonna know to use those tools. Okay, backstory, an expert financial researcher who spends all day and night thinking about financial performance of different companies. Now we're gonna set allow delegation to false because we don't want this agent delegating this task to anybody else. And we're gonna set verbose to true because I want to actually see everything that this agent is thinking. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it down here to create our second agent. Now, typically what I do is I match every agent to an individual task. So if there are two tasks, there'll be two agents. So let's start changing this now. So instead of company researcher, we're going to call this the company analyst and instead of financial researcher we'll call it financial analyst and then we're going to replace the goal so for the goal i'm going to say take provided company financial information and create a thorough financial report about a given company the backstory an expert financial analyst who prides themselves on creating clear and easily readable financial reports of different companies again allow delegation false there's no need for that and verbose true so now we are done with agents now uh, one quick thing i want to mention is you don't actually Actually have to save any of the files while you're working with lightning AI it just saves it automatically as you're going which is really nice I've obviously gotten into the habit of hitting command save all the time so it doesn't hurt but you don't really have to do that and you can shut this off you can shut down the environment and come back to it later and it's all just gonna be there working ready to go just like you left it okay next we're going to create our main file that puts all the agents and tasks together. So right click on financial analyst crew, and we're going to create a new file. And let's call that crew.py. So the first thing we need to do is import all the relevant libraries. So we're going to say from crew AI import agent crew process and task. And those are the four main pillars of a crew AI project. Then we're going to import crew base agent crew and task from the crew AI dot project. And also because Grok is awesome, we're going to be using Grok to power all of this and we could do so through Langchain. So make sure you have all of these installed and we can pip install them if we need to later. But right now we just need Langchain Grok import chat Grok. Now let's actually create the crew base. So enter, enter, and we'll say at crew base. And then we're gonna create a class, financial analyst crew, open parens, close parens, colon. We're gonna describe what it is. And then we're going to load up the agents and tasks that we just created. Then we need to set the grok information. So we're gonna do def init self none, and then self dot grok LLM. And this is where we pull in the grok chat information. We're gonna say temperature is zero, model name, and we're gonna be using Mixtral. And we'll need to set the token, but we'll do that in a minute. Now let's pull our agents and our tasks into this file. So add agent. Okay, so I wrote out the first agent definition. So we have add agent def company researcher self, and then we point it at agent, and we're gonna be returning a new agent object, config, and then we pull in the config from the agents.yaml file and we pass in the grok LLM as its LLM. And remember, as I've said a lot of times, you can actually pass in a different model 
from different sources into each individual agent. So if you want to use GPT-4 for one, Claude for another, Mixtral for another, and then an open source model powered by Lightning as another, you could totally do that. Next, let's copy this and we're going to create our second agent. And this second agent is company analyst. Okay, so it's going to do the same thing. We're going to pass it as an agent, return the agent object. And instead of company researcher, we're going to call it company analyst. And that's it. Th those are our definitions for the two agents. Now we need to create definitions for our tasks. So just like agent, we say at task at the top, we'll say def company research task, same as before, just like agents, except instead of agent, we say task here, new line, then we'll return a task object with definitions, config is equal to self dot task config, and then we'll pull in the relevant task. And rather than passing in an LLM, which wouldn't make sense for a task, we're going to pass in our agent that we want to do this task. So we say self dot company researcher and that should be good now let's copy it and create the second task down here here we'll say def analyze company task we'll create the task return the task but we'll say analyze company task here and we actually want the company analyst as the agent and i think we're done i think this looks good ah no we need one more thing so we actually have to define our crew which puts it all together all the agents and all the tasks so we say at crew, def crew, and then we pass it itself, make a new crew object. So here we're going to return a crew, and now we need to pass it all the information to actually create that crew. So we'll do agents is equal to self.agents, and the self.agents is automatically created by these decorators right here. Just a heads up on that. So that's all we got to do. Then for task, we do the same thing, self.task. Then we need to set a process. So we're going to do process.sequential because we just want it happening one after another. And then verbose is equal to two because we want it to output everything. Now I think we're done. All right, now we need to actually create our main.py. So we already have one right here. So let's go ahead and move that into the financial analyst crew. Okay, main.py. And all it does is print hello lightning world. So we're going to import OS and we're going to import the rest of what we need to basically use a .m file. So from .env, import load.env, load.env. Then we're going to import our financial analyst crew. So it's as simple as from analyst, financial analyst crew dot crew import and then import the financial analyst crew. So now we have everything we need. All right, and this is the entire main file. So we're gonna define run. We're gonna pass in the inputs and the only input we have is company name, Tesla. And the nice thing is crew automatically interpolates all of that for us. Then we're gonna say financial analyst crew dot crew kickoff, we'll pass in the inputs. And then we put this kind of main portion down at the bottom. Now let's create our env file and we're almost done. So on the very outside of this entire folder, we're gonna right click new file and we're gonna call it .env and we're gonna pass a grok API key right there. So I grabbed a new grok API key and yes, I am going to revoke this key before publishing the video. So that's it, grok API key and then pass it in just like that. Okay, so I am going to create some tools now and we're not actually gonna create them from scratch. We're just gonna use tools that are currently in the crew AI examples library already for us. So we have an SEC tools, which is kind of exactly what we need. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna copy the whole file. We'll switch back and then in the financial analyst crew, we're gonna right click and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it tools. Then we're gonna create a new file in there and we're gonna call it secTools.py and we're gonna paste in all that code. So all of this hopefully will just work out of the box. All right, now we're gonna use poetry to put it all together and to actually run the project. So to do that, we're gonna first do pip install poetry. Then we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it pyproject.toml. And you don't really have to know how much of this works. And to be honest, I don't really know how much of this works. Uh, I'm just not super familiar with poetry, but this is the way crew is gonna be done going forward. So we're gonna paste in all this stuff and it basically just sets up poetry for us. And the only thing that we're gonna need to customize is the financial analyst crew name right there. Next, we're gonna lock the dependencies. So poetry lock, all right, should be done. And there it is, the poetry.lock file, perfect. Then we're gonna do poetry install. Okay, so this is installing all the dependencies now. All right, there it's done. And now we should be able to run it from here. So poetry run financial analyst crew. 
hit enter. Uh, I missed one thing, so I forgot to actually rename it to what we need. So financial analyst crew right there. Now that it's there, we should be able to run it properly. So I'm gonna do poetry install one more time, just in case. All right, now we got no warning. So now it should work. Poetry run financial analyst crew. All right, so I got another module not found issue. So let's do pip install langchain grok. And I'm not sure why we have to do that again, but let's try it. Hopefully this works. Okay, so let's run it again. All right, it looks like we got it working. Wonderful, wow. Look how lightning fast that was. Okay, so let's see what it did. So here we go, entering the chain, final answer, Tesla's ticker symbol, current stock price, market cap, getting all this great information about Tesla and recent news as well. Then it passes it on to the financial analyst and it's doing a bunch of different calculations. Okay, all perfect. And then we have the ratios and the different metrics that we asked for, and then the final output. Perfect, look at this, beautiful. So it all worked and it was lightning fast. So now we have our crew set up, but it's using Grok, which is fantastic, but we wanna try running it with an open source model powered by Lightning AI. So you can plug in any model that you want. So leave this tab open. All right, then we're gonna go to the studio templates page within lightning.ai. So it's lightning.ai slash studios. And this basically comes with a bunch of pre-configured studios that are ready to go. And they have a bunch of them, a bunch of really cool ones. From running Olama, fine tuning, you can build diffusion models. They just have a bunch of them. All right, and it already has this run Mistral mixture of experts. And all we need to do is click open template right there. So we select what team space, then click open. And this takes a little while to load up because it's doing a lot in the background, but it sets up everything for us. And then I'm gonna show you how to then expose the API from Olama. And then we're going to take that API endpoint and then power our model with it. All right, so it's done. Now, if we look up in the top right, and we hover over this button, we can actually see that we're using a GPU, an A10G. And if we click on it, then click into the GPUs, we can see we have a bunch available all the way through A100s, H100s, and yeah, they do cost a lot of money to run, but you don't need these beefy GPUs for all the models, but we will likely need something very powerful for Mixtral. And now they have L4 support, so you can just get another beastly GPU running your models. But I'll just show you that we get it working. I'm not actually gonna let it do all the inference because that's not the point. Let's continue. So once we have that, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click this plus button for the plugins. We're gonna go down to serving and then we're gonna do API builder and click install. Once that's done, we exit out of here. On the right side, we now have this tab API builder. Go ahead and click that. Now this is one that's just by default and you can actually just go ahead and right click on it and delete this like that and we're gonna do a new API, okay? So we'll keep the name the same, and for the port, it's 11434, and that is just Olama's port. We don't need any authentication, although if we're gonna make this into a production environment, yes, you definitely want authentication. Then let's enable it. Then we're gonna click on the name, and we're going to grab this base URL right there. So now this is the endpoint that is exposed with our OpenAI compatible API. So now I switch back to our code. So now to do it, I'll leave the old code in there, but what we need to do is right here, from langchain.llms, we're gonna import Olama, and then we're going to, on a new line, create a new LLM, Olama Mixtral, then we're gonna call Olama, we're gonna pass in the model Mixtral, and then for this base URL, we're going to enter the URL that we copied earlier. So just like that. So then we'll copy this, we're gonna comment out this line, and we'll do self. I'll call it Grok LLM just to save some time, but we'll call it Olama Mixtral, just like that. And it should all work now, I believe. There might be one more thing we have to do, but let's give it a try. And so poetry run financial analyst crew. All right, and there it goes. So it's probably gonna be pretty slow because it is a very big model, Mixtral, and we're not using a super beefy GPU, but I just wanna show you getting it working. And if we switch back to the Olama Studio, we can actually see the GPU going burr right there. So you can see it's, it's working right now and there it goes look at that all right so if I stop it, it has a bunch of good information right there go back look at the GPU and now it goes down to zero again so we've confirmed it actually works
So now you know how to structure a crew and do so in the most modern way. You know how to spin up an open source model with Lightning AI and power it with their GPUs. And you know how to expose the endpoint and plug it into your crew. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.